Hi friends, my name is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario. Uh, let's discuss what is that. So here our requirement is to find the sales in desired currency as per the user selection. Let us suppose that a user selected any country like Australia. The sales which are in INR, Indian rupees, need to be converted to like Australian dollar. This conversion need to be done based upon the user selection. Whatever the user selects, okay. Total sales or sales need to be converted into that particular currency. So this is, this is our scenario. So let's go into a solution. Before going into solution, small intro regarding our online classes. So we are starting a new Power BI and SQL batches very soon. Interested people can join on that. For more details, you can call on the number which you can see over here. And we are also starting Power BI real-time project batch very soon. So please contact to register in that particular batch. So again, so we are having our Telegram group. We are sharing a lot of information out there. Please try to subscribe and follow our Telegram channel, which is Power BI with Prasad. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Power BI with Prasad, and then press or click the bell icon to get all our updates. So again, we'll get back to our requirement and then we'll find how can we achieve this one. A simple real-time requirement, okay, how we can achieve that. I I'll let you know like how we can achieve that. So before going into the solution, let me show you what's our data. So this is our order table. And then, okay, for different categories and subcategories, these are the sales that we do have. Again, what's the currency table? So in our currency table, we do have the countries and their currency name, and then the rate for INR. So even you can get it from this kind of tables, even from um, websites or whatever it might be, so that you can get daily updated currency rates, and then uh, you can get that one, and then you can calculate it. So this is a second option. So if you have a predefined uh, tables, you can get it, or else okay, you do have a lot of tables outside, Okay, in the web, you can get it from there so that you can have, okay, so um, currency conversions uh, which are okay, updated daily. So that is the second option. And here I do have a table. From that, okay, I am uh, taking the values which you are seeing over here, the rate, and then I'm trying to like divide this rate with our, okay, the sales which we do have. So here in that table, we do have subcategories and the sum of sales. And then uh, this sales is in INR, Indian rupees. I want to convert this into desired currency based upon the user selection. For that, what is the measure that has been written over here? You can see I created the total sales and I divided that with the selected value of currency rate. So what does selected value function do? So first of all, selected value function will go to that particular column and then checks what is the value which was selected. So when you select the country, the entire row will be selected and then the, uh, it, uh, the slicer will show that only that row is available uh, to the, all other visuals in this place. So obviously if you go and check what is the value selected in that particular rate column. So obviously beside the Canada, you have the Canadian rate and then that you will get it over here. And then you will divide that one Okay, uh, for uh, total sales using divide function. Divide function, the numerator and the de denominator. So I'll explain you more over here regarding the slicer and then, okay, the selected value. Let us suppose that you click Canada. I'll go here and then show you that. So the slicer will show to the other visuals that okay, only this Canadian row, the row which is, okay, belongs to Canada. Only this row will be visible to the other visuals in that particular case. So obviously, so when we go for uh, this particular logic, so selected value of this particular rate, so Canadian conversion rate will be displayed over here. So that rate will come over here. So by dividing that, you will get the currency in that particular selected value. So it happens to each and every selection. So if you go for Britain, so it will take the pound rate and then it will divide the uh, uh, sales which is in INR and then it will use the output. So this is how you can get 
dynamically by the selection of the user, you can get the currency in that particular selected currency, the total sales in that particular selected currency. This is how it happens. And again, so what if I don't select anything? So obviously you don't have any value over here. So you're not selecting any value over here, you'll get all the blanks. So in this case, what you we can do? So obviously we can set a default value over here. If you want to set any default value, you can set here in my scenario, I want to set INR, INR as the default value. So obviously I want to show only uh, the same value over here. If I don't select anything, if I select anything, then I want to show the sales in that particular currency. So how we can, how we can do that one? Very simple. So let me do that one for you over here. If has one value, so has one value of that particular column. So we need to give the column. So what is the value? Okay, again. So what is the uh, what is the value? So in this country, if you have any value, currencies country, then okay, this need to be activated, or else. Okay, then, okay, I want to show the sum of sales. This is what we are checking over here. So let me explain to you what's happening over here so that you can understand. So if I have any value over here, if I have any value selected over here, then I want to show this one, which is nothing but the converted sales in that particular currency. If I don't have any value, it means if I'm not selecting anything in the country, then I want to show the sum of sales, which is nothing but the INR over here. So let me activate this, approve this one, and then let's see over here. So you can see if I don't have any value, if I don't select anything over here in this particular country, I'm getting the sales in INR only, the same values. If I'm selecting anything, obviously I'll get that one. Okay, I'll get the sales in okay US dollars. You can see over here. But again, you can, uh, in this kind of uh, reports, in these kinds of visuals, if you want to show uh, the currency as per the user selected values or user selections, you can use dynamic type also. That's also very simple. Just simple. Sales and um, selected value. Okay, sales in and okay, selected value of currency. So what are the value that you select over here in the currency? And again, here, okay, if you don't select that one, even still that one, so uh, it doesn't show anything. So sales in, it, it remains like that. For that, we need to like make this code a small change as earlier. If as one value of, okay, so what is that one? So country, so country, okay, then this need to be shown else I want to show Right. Sales. Can you want to write it? Okay. And then you can write directly like right, okay. Right. You can show that one as you wish. Okay, right. So right now you can see over here, if I don't select anything, I can see sales in INR. If I select anything, I can see the sales in that particular currency, which is belongs to that particular country. Again, you might think that, okay, will it works only with the country? No. Okay, it will work with all the columns over here. So it, you can 
take this one as like in the slicer, you can take the currency in the slicer, you can take the rate in the slicer again. So when you change something in this particular slicer rather than the country, if you can choose the currency, then you need to make a small change over here in this particular has one value okay, um, column. If you, if you use country over here, you need to use uh, country over here in the has one value. If you use currency, okay, you need to change this one according to that. In all the measures, okay, this particular part, you need to change according to that. So if you change, if you use like country over here in the slicer, you give the country. If you use currency over here, you use the currency. This is the okay tip and technique to use any of the column from that particular table and get your currency, desired currency as per the user selection. If you're watching till now means you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and then like, share. Okay, please subscribe to my channel and then hit the bell icon to get our regular updates. And then if you need to know any information regarding our training batches, you can call to our numbers, which are here. Right? I'll come up with another new real-time scenario very soon. Until then, bye, have a great day. Please try to subscribe to our Telegram channel. You'll get a lot of information regarding Power BI through the link, which is in description. Thank you, have a good day. Bye-bye.